Howdy, I'm Lee Wilson, this is TGO Wyoming, on the move. So, this has been a week. This has been a really, really trying and somewhat awful week. Uh, in the sense that every little project I've done, every task that I've tried to accomplish, has either gone terribly wrong or just fought me all the way to completion. And this uh, culminated with the attempt at putting on my new Wyoming license plates onto my, my Land Cruiser here. Something should be very simple, right? Uh, it's a license plate. You take out the screws, you put your license plate on, you put back in your screws, you're good to go, your bolts. So as I'm attempting to get the rear license plate off, <clears throat> the bolt on the passenger side is so rusted that it just snaps off right at the head. I mean, just a little bit of resistance, bang, snaps off. Well, that's not good. <laughs> So I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to have to get this thing out. And it is just stuck in there. So I take a multi-step approach to this. And this is, was quite a project. First, I uh, went to Home Depot and I bought an Easy Out. And I bought a center punch, uh, automatic center punch. Got some more tools for it. And <clears throat> when I got home, I sprayed it with some PB uh, bolt remover. You know, uh, basically it's the stuck bolt blaster. And let that sit on there all night. The next morning, I get out there and I center punch it and I get my easy out and drill it out and start working on that. Nothing. My little 12 volt uh, Ryobi drill, it just goes eh, eh, eh. Like, all right. So I go and grab my big uh, corded drill and it's a, it's a, what is it, three amp, three and a half amp drill corded and that does nothing. It's like, oh man. So I take apart the tailgate panel and pull it off the back, and I'm like, okay, I'll have to get through this from the back. Well, I can't find my vice grips. I haven't seen my vice grips in years. I'm like, well, that's not good. So I slap on the original, the Colorado license plate that was on there, and head to work for the day. Go to Walmart. $28 later, I have a couple of sets of vice grips. Everything's well and good so far. So I get, <coughs> get back home, pull the license, or pull the tailgate down, and get after it with the vice grips. What happens? Breaks off from the backside. Oh no. This just isn't working very well. So I decide, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use my, my heat gun, heat this thing up, and see if I can get it out with the easy out using the big quarter drill. Well, I get that as hot as I can go without boiling the paint off of the off the tailgate there and hit it with the easy out. It does nothing. It does absolutely nothing doesn't move in the slightest. In fact, the torque of the drill was so much that it started trying to bend and uh, fold in the actual sheet metal of the tailgate. Okay, scratch that idea. <clears throat> I go back to Home Depot and I pick up a diamond rotary bit and a carbide rotary bit for my Dremel tool and a set of metric taps. I'm like, all right, I've resigned myself to the fact that I am just going to have to drill this out and then retap it. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping beyond all hope that I can still use, you know, the six millimeter uh, coarse threaded bolt. Maybe I'll get lucky, right? But just in case I buy a seven millimeter bolt, in case I have to tap it out to seven millimeters. If I have to go to eight millimeters, then I'm really in trouble because I don't have an eight millimeter, eight millimeter tap. <coughs> so I get in there with a the Dremel and start cutting away and cutting away and getting all the extra material possible that I can get out. And I uh, throw some, some PB blaster on my drill bit and drill it, use the six millimeter drill bit, and uh, or at least the number nine drill bit in the six millimeter tap set. You can use a PB blaster, some cutting fluid, drill through it, and I start seeing little chunks of metal come out. I'm like, oh my gosh, I might actually have gotten to the point where I've thinned out the bolt enough that it's going to come out. So crossing my fingers here, I lube up the actual the tap and very carefully thread it in there. And it has just enough threads to catch the original. And I start very slowly pushing it through, cranking it through. And what happens? It cleans out the original threads. And I decide have never been more frustrated in my entire life with a project than this one. And I think it's due to the simplicity. 
changing your license plate is supposed to be a simple, easy process. In the end, that has cost me two days' time, several hours of work, uh, countless frustration, and about $110 cumulative in, in new tools and things to get this to go. Uh, between the easy outs, the taps and dies, and just all the, the Dremel bits, which are like nine bucks each. The easy solution would have been just to have taken a large drill bit, reamed it right through, grabbed a, a nut for my six millimeter bolt, <coughs> and bolted it on. <coughs> Excuse me this morning, allergies are killing me. <coughs> and that would have worked. But I also would have had to have popped off the rear uh, hatch cover and then popped off another panel anytime I wanted to change my license plate or, you know, do anything with it. So tighten it up. And that just, just didn't seem right to me. So the moral of the story is even if you are frustrated as all get out and you are just angry and angrier than you've ever been at any project, take a step back, cool down, and spend the time to do it right. Because it does pay off. Because as soon as I got that actually tapped and redid the threads, it was the best feeling I've had all week. So even when things are fighting you, when things are going wrong, persevere, stick with it, and take the time to do it right. It really is worth it in the end. And on that note, I think it's time for some caffeine. So stay safe, shoot straight, and as always, don't forget to subscribe for more great videos.